G'day everyone, Rod here. We're today here with the Varun Ballistic Rhino off-road mountain bike. This thing is a machine. It's dual suspension, 900 watt motor, and it goes like a bat out of hell for an e-bike. It's great, it's affordable. Um, Got to get your hands on one. Today, I'm going to run you through a few details and through specs with it in a lot more detail than what our last video did. All right, everyone, let's start with the gears. So we've got seven-speed Shimano quick-release gearbox. And here's our sprocket seven-speed. Very beautiful, very comfortable, very easy to use. Great little setup. All right, and over here, we've got our LED display. We just hold our power button in to turn it on. We've got the three speed modes in the top right-hand corner, one, two, and three minus button and you've also got a zero button that'll put you in just pedal mode no power all right hold the plus button in and that'll turn our headlight on around the front nice bright one as we've shown you already uh, there's also a little bell comes with it all right it does come 90 percent pre-assembled so you've only put your front tire on handlebars and your back mud flap and your pedals, so it's pretty pretty easy to assemble. Anyone can do it. It comes with full instructions anyway, and there is videos that you can check out. All right, we've got front hydraulic suspension. These bad boys will handle all the jumps that you need. You've also got hydraulic rear suspension, dual suspension bike. Not many off-road e-bikes will have the dual suspension at this price range. You're looking at another two thousand dollars at least for something of this quality and this capability um so now we've got the tires like this is what amazes me these big fat boys here 26 inch four inch wide uh absolutely unbelievable there's uh what do they call it semi puncher resistant so they're resisting punches we've had it all over rocks boulders and not a flat no flat jet, so thumbs up to Varun for that. Uh, the battery, let's talk about this removable 806 watt power battery. So nice and easy to get in and out. Key to lock it. Beautiful. See? And so, yeah, you can carry another one on your back and go forever if you want. All right, the frame, high quality carbon steel frame, very lightweight. Welds are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very well done, Varun. All right, the brakes. Let's turn this bad boy around. Down here, we've got rear and front brakes, 165 mil discs, and more than enough power to pull this bad boy up. We've had no problems at all stopping it. Stops on the spot. Lock them up if you need to. So with the bike, you also get a toolkit, which is great. Um, it's got all the tools and a little bit of an instruction manual, but there's plenty of videos online to um, run you through anything you need. And the company and themselves, well, they're fantastic. They'll be there to back you up anytime. So we'll just run through the specs with you one more time. So we've got in EV mode, which is electric vehicles. So you've got 55 to 75 kilometres or 35 to 45 mile range. That's on a rider with 140 pounds. Now in pedal assist mode, we're looking at a range of 60 to 80 kilometres or 40, 50 miles an hour. I'm uh, sorry, 40 to 50 miles with a ride of weight again of 140 pounds. We've got a max speed of probably, we've had it up to 66 k's in EV mode. So I suppose it depends on what kind of hill you're riding on. Uh, inclines. 15 to 30%. I think you go up higher than 30%, to be honest. We've had it up on, I think, Mutton Bird Islands, a good probably 25% grade, and it was going up there easily. So creek crossings, we were looking at a creek crossing like this. You know, it, it was pushing 40, 45 degrees. So I think the specs underestimate it, but... If you were just in EV mode riding along the road and you had a, a, a hill, yeah, I think 30 degrees would be quite sufficient. 
before you'd have to start pedaling to give it a bit of power to help up the hill, but quite powerful. Uh, now let's have a look at the dimensions. So we've got 77 inches by 26 by 45. The weight, 77 pounds. Rider weight limit, 330 pounds. Comes with a fast charger, four to six hours. Nice headlight, as we've explained. Wheel sizes, 26 by four. Number of speeds, seven speed Shimano gearbox. And it's got an IP65 water rating. And it's also got a unique suspension fork and drives one wheel, as I said, 806 watt hour battery. 900 watt motor. Now, drivetrain. Uh, now, one thing we didn't cover is regenerative brakes. So you can restore the battery up 5% when under braking mode so that's a fantastic little bonus especially if you're doing off-road stuff you've got to go up you've got to come down well on the way down you'll restore your battery and yeah great feature Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. This bad boy, the Varun Ballistic Rhino, gotta get yourself one. This thing is out of sight. Thanks for watching.